one of the things we'd like to be able to do with our virtual machine is to be able to use the shared folder. Due to a uh, slight glitch in the setup here, uh, actually one of the permissions is not set up right to use this shared folder. So I'm going to walk you through how to actually enable the uh, shared folder for CS3841. So if we take a look in the media directory, there is this folder here, SFLW share. Right now, we can't go into that because the permissions are set wrong. We, as the user CS3841, do not have permissions to go into this particular folder. Uh, this, again, as I said, was an oversight on my standpoint. But we're going to go through and fix that. So to fix that, what we want to do is switch into the folder called etc. And there is this file here called group. And I'm going to edit that. I'm going to use nano, which is one of the text editors we can use. And I have to enter in my password for CS3841. And what this is, it's kind of a cryptic file format. But down at the very bottom here, we see this group called VBOXSF, which I'm going to open up a second term window here for just a moment because I want to show you something. If I switch to that media directory and then list the files, we see that this LW share happens to be owned by this VBOXSF user or group within the system. And it's an oversight. Really, all I need to do is put myself into this group, CS3841. So I'm now going to write it out by doing a control O and exit out. I want to exit out of my windows, like so. Log myself out of my virtual machine, which will allow the window to be, at, or allow the permissions to be reread again. I'll log back in, like so. And now, if I open up my terminal, like so, switch into directory slash media, like so. Now I can go in there, and we can see that I have a file, hello.txt.txt, like so. I'm going to edit it. This file was written in Windows. This file was edited in Linux, like so. So it's been edited. I'm going to do a Control O to write it out, exit out of it. Now on my Windows side of my machine, I have that same LW share open up. Here is that hello.txt. I can edit it. can see it was written in Windows, it was edited in Linux, and if I put a carriage return in here, like so, make that onto a separate line, make sense, this file was then edited again in Windows, I'm doing this with Notepad just because, so it's been edited with Windows, now over here, cat out the file, we can see it was written in Windows, was edited in Linux, was edited again in Windows, like so. Now you have the ability to access this shared directory, and you can copy files to and from Windows to the Linux side and modify things accordingly. All right, so that brings this quick video to a conclusion.